Hey everyone, what's up? It's Yammer Bro here, and welcome to another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to add soft clouds to your game. Uh, so, so as you can see here, I have a giant map, and I want to add some clouds to it. So, first things first, you will need the UPP Parallax Pro, which is in the description below, and you will need the GIMP or equivalent. So, we're going to be using the GIMP, and if you want the single window mode to show up, then do Windows, click on Single Window Mode, like I have here. Alright, so we're going to create an image. Um, let's create it about 1280 by 720. Let's make it a 720p image. We're going to go ahead and put, click the trash can to delete the back layer. Click a new layer so we have a transparent one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, the, the brush tool here. Doesn't matter how fuzzy it is. We're going to make the size about 200. And we're just going to start placing random blotches. Like, like so. Don't worry about the color or how it looks yet. We're about to change all that. Once you have a few blotches, we're going to right-click the screen. We're going to click on Filters. We're going to go to Web. We're going to go to Make Seamless. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lock the alpha channel here. And we're going to grab a gray color. And we're going to just start kind of drawing a bunch of gray in the, into the black areas here. Doesn't matter how it looks. Like I said, don't worry about how crazy, like how messy it's going to look. We are going to fix it up. Then we're going to do a lighter gray. Uh, just start stamping that in random places as well. On the black areas. Now we're going to take the smudge tool here. And we're going to smudge the shit out of things. Remember that we locked the alpha channel so that it doesn't really matter. As you can see, we can't go outside of the transparent areas. So once we have a few soft looking clouds here. Uh, you might notice that we have like some round circles. If so, unlock the alpha channel and just kind of use a smudge tool to smooth it around. Once again, we are going to right click uh, after you unlock the alpha channel and make seamless one more time to seam to make the color seamless. Then we're going to export this into our game folder, our IMG. And we're going to go to pictures folder, and we're going to name the pictures clouds soft.png or whatever else you want to name it. Next we're going to add a plugin command. It's going to be add map overlay. We're going to set the ID to 0, X position to 0, Y position to 0, the scroll will be 0 0.5 and the Y scroll will be well the X scroll is 0 0.5 and the Y scroll let's make that 0 0.25. And let's have the let's have the distance be 1 1. And now we well, we name it or we put our file name clouds soft. I believe that was the file name. Let's double check. Yep, clouds soft. You don't have to put .png. And the blend type, let's make a two, which is the multiply, I believe. So make this a parallel process. You could use erase event if you want. It's not really necessary because I have it. Oops, what am I doing? I have it set up to where it won't uh, duplicate multiple instances. So you're fine with that, but yeah, it will require that. And look at the results. As you can see, we have some nice clouds here, but we need to change the opacity of it. And that's kind of dark. And they're going kind of fast. So we're going to play around with the speed a little bit. First, we're going to change the opacity. We'll do it up here. You could use it through the plugin, but we'll do it up here. So drag the opacity down a little bit. And we're going to change the speed from 0 0.5 to 0 0.25 for the X and 0 0.05 for the Y. And let's see how this looks. It's look pretty good. And there we go. We now have some really soft looking clouds that are kind of shading over the uh, the map here. My dad is snoring. But as you can see here, uh, this kind of works. And if it's not dark enough, then let's let's go ahead and actually let's go ahead and make something interesting. Let's let's brighten this up a little bit more. Now, let's add a second one. So let's copy this event, and let's change the ID to 1, and let's make this from 0 0.25 to, let's keep that one there, and let's keep, let's increase the Y position to 0 0.15. All we have to do is increase the ID by 1, and we'll have a second layer of clouds. Now, let's check out how this looks. You should have like this sort of 3D looking cloud system here. Although they're in the exact same location, so we do need to change that. But as you can see, some of the clouds are moving slower than the others. Uh, if you want, we can actually change that one to 
normal blend, blend type. type of two, which is multiply. Or it could do screen, but that would increase. Now what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the opacity of the second one by doing set overlay opacity. The overlay ID, which is one. And let's set it to 100 instead of 255. Anyways, the point of this is you can keep playing around with this until you get to your liking. But as you can see, there we go. Now we have some really soft, nice, beautiful clouds moving slightly downward. With my dad snoring in the background. Anywho, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you feel like supporting me on Patreon, thank you very much. That'd be awesome. And enjoy. I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this tutorial. And it looks really great. I like it. I like it a lot. I love it, actually. Beautiful for a town. Alright, guys. I will see you all later. Peace out.